I think copyright and especially patent disputes get really nasty really quickly. Copyright not so much, but especially in patents, it's like winner take all on completely insane grounds and that there is no middle ground. You either win or you lose. And it makes it a very nasty thing from a legal perspective. I have filed patents. There's at least I think three patents. I mean, they're not, they're in my name, but I'm not the owner of them. And I, since Transmeta is out of business, I don't know how much relevance they have. And they were actually about hardware, so I'm pretty happy about them. And it was an interesting experience. I'm not saying they're wonderful patents, I'm saying it was, it was interesting to see the kinds of things and the crazy patent language you have to have, and the reason you have to have a patent lawyer because the language is, I mean, it's English in, in the US. It's, it's technically English, but it's not really. It's like using English words, but there's a different meaning to them. There's a whole different set of rules about what things mean when you do a patent. And it was very interesting to do that. I'm not unhappy about the patent itself. I don't think it was as horrible as many patents. And I really think patents probably work better in certain areas than they do in others. Software, no. Process patents, no. They don't. They just don't make sense. Copyright violation discussions can get very ugly too. And there the issue is, again, it tends to be a winner-take-all kind of situation, even when in real life many issues are not black and white. They're kind of gray. People do similar things for the simple reasons that when you do something, there are things that make sense. So the code could even be developed completely differently and look similar. SEO was a classic example of that, where they tried to use copyrights, which turned out to be completely bogus in so many ways, and made it into this kind of nasty legal battle. They lost badly, and what was kind of irritating with that whole thing was as an insider knowing what they claimed was completely bogus, the fact that it took them 10 years to lose is scary. 10 years and I don't know how many hundreds of millions of dollars IBM and Novell spent on fighting completely bogus crap stuff. Lawsuits that made no sense. Literally made no sense whatsoever to the point that it ended up turning out that they didn't even own the copyrights that they were claiming Never mind that the copyrights they were claiming weren't actually true. I mean, it's like, Christ, what a chaos. So the legal system and high-tech, not a good combination usually.